Hello everyone, this is John Rollins. Today is Wednesday and it's time for our Strive session. Strive, we've said before, is strategies to remain informed, strategies to remain victorious, strategies to remain empowered. I trust that you've had a great week. I trust that things are going well for you. Uh, this old Wednesday, the hump day, we don't have hump days. We have every one of our days is a day of rising. So we thank God that we're here. Uh, we are here for those of us who are in the body of Christ, those of us who are believers. We're trying to, again, as we say on, on each one of our sessions, our goal is to try to provide something that will be of value to you, something that will help to uplift you, to encourage you, to give you a reason to want to keep going, to want to stay strong. Uh, I think it says in the scriptures that you stand and having done all, stand therefore. That's what we're trying to do, provide you with something that will encourage you. So, and today uh, we have for our topic, Unclogged. And uh, I was thinking of, I, I was actually listening to a, uh, a Dr. Miles Monroe on YouTube and he was, he made a statement. And as soon as I heard that statement, the idea of unclogged came to mind. And I'll, I'll share with you the statement that he made. I'll share with you a statement that I've heard in the past, I think probably maybe 10, 12 years ago, I heard another statement, and then I'll talk to you about what we mean by unclog. The statement that I heard from Dr. Monroe on today, uh, this morning, he was saying that if he had, uh, if, if, if our present, our, our relationship with God, he said, just imagine that, that God has a big tanker. Uh, our, our, because of our prayer life, because of our study, because of our time that we spend with him, he has a big tanker and he wants to download. And I'm paraphrasing what he was saying or what he said, but he, he had a big tanker and he wants to download things to us. Okay, and he was talking about prayer and fasting and how the benefit of fasting uh, has on our life. Okay, but if he had, if God had a big tanker and he was trying to download to us, and the the and he was trying to download, but the way that we what we used to attach to him was a water hose. He said that that regardless of how much was available for us through the resource or the reservoir that's available, we would only be able to get whatever our limitation that the water hose would allow to be uh, siphoned through or, or to pass through to flow through. And then when he said that, and then I thought about. We, even if we had a water hose, if that water hose was clogged, it would still restrict what we were able to receive, regardless of how much was available. If there were blockages, it would restrict what we were able to receive. And from that, I thought to myself, John, what is clogging you up? What, 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 some, what are some of the things in your life, the areas in your life that may be clogged? And then what will you commit to do for this upcoming year, if God allows me to live, what am I willing to do to unclog those areas of my life? Okay, so that's what we want to talk about, and we'll probably spend some time with this maybe over the next several sessions, but talking about unclogged. And um, so that's what I heard from Dr. Monroe. But then I heard uh, many years ago, we were I was at the Right Connection Conference down in Miami, Jesus People Church Ministry Church International. I was down and, and I heard Pastor Evans, Dr. Tony Evans, and he gave this illustration and it stuck with me even to this day. He talked about our capacity. And maybe you've heard him give this illustration, but it, it made such a difference in my life that it gave me a reason to want to always be looking to expand my capacity. And he said that if you have a thimble, if you go to the Atlantic Ocean, the entire ocean is there, but if you were trying to carry away water from the ocean, regardless of how much ocean there was, if your reservoir, if your, your container was a thimble, all you would ever be able to carry was a thimble full. Okay? Now, if you're trying to build something or, or fill up a, a bucket, a barrel, or whatever, and all you had was a thimble, then you would only be able to carry a thimble. Regardless of how much more was available, the only thing that you could carry was a thimble full. He said, if you had a cup, the cup was greater than a thimble, okay, but it's not as big as the ocean. You can go to that ocean and you can bring a cup at a time, okay, but that's all that you could carry. You could not carry more than that cup. He said, you can get a bucket. 
the bucket is bigger than the cup, the cup is bigger than the thimble, but you would only be able to carry a bucket at a time. You can get a big gallon, a five gallon drum, and all you will be able to carry is what that drum's capacity allowed you to carry. He said that until we expand our capacity, we will be limited, regardless of how much is available, what we are, so what the resources are, we would all only be limited to our capacity. Unless we expand our capacity, until we expand our capacity, we don't expand our opportunity. You think about that. If, if your life, you're saying that you want to have this, you want to be something, you want to achieve something, but if your capacity is such that it restricts you, you will never have opportunity, or you may have opportunity, but you'll never be able to capitalize on opportunity beyond your capacity. And so now let's try to see if we can put the two together. Okay, we talked about the, the reservoir, the tanker that, that is available to us through opportunity, through our relationship with the Lord. Okay, and then we talked about having blockages. Okay, and that unclogging those blockages is, I think, equated to expanding our capacity. And I think you see where I'm going with this. When we unclog those things, we remove those things that are blocking us, uh, maybe in our health, maybe in our, our relationships, maybe in our attitude, our dispositions, maybe in our education. When we address those blockages, we unclog those blockages, we expand our capacity. When we expand our capacity, we expand our opportunity. I know that makes so much sense. It's so much sense and it's so simple. Okay, but what are we doing to expand our opportunity? What are we doing to unclog, unstop those things that are blocking us from fulfilling all that is available to us? You may have heard me say this before on one of these sessions. Okay, I believe that we have everything that we need to become everything that we are created to be. And I'm not, I don't, and I won't back down on that. I think right now, when you came into this earth, you were created with everything that you needed to become everything that you're created to be. I don't care if you have what we call impairments or limitations or disabilities. I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me what those situations may be. But for you, you have everything. For me, I have everything that I need to become everything that I was created to be. Now, I, I would be unwise to live my life comparing myself to someone else who is equipped with some things different than what I'm equipped with. Okay, but I can maximize on what I have been given. And how do we do that? By removing the things that are blocking us, removing the things that are clogging up, expanding our capacity, and then we expand our opportunity. So unclogged is our topic. And so what I want to do is I want to spend a few minutes giving a definition of unclogged and a, some synonyms or antonyms for it and then you all see my, my grandson, he's supposed to be doing his homework. I think he's going to get back to that. Um, and then I'll help him out as soon as I finish this. But I want to give some definitions, some synonyms, and some antonyms for unclog. And then what we will do over the next several sessions is we will talk about areas where in our lives, uh, and I got these from a goal setting, okay, our, our spiritual level our emotional level, our community involvement, our, um, our contributions to, to those around us. Okay, How can we set goals in those areas and then work to attain those goals? So here, I'm going to read from some, some stuff, and I got this from Marion Webster. So uh, it says, unclogged, that's a verb, and um, it is similar to unclogged, unclogging, or unclogs, the process of. And the definition that I got for unclogged from Marion Webster is to free from a difficulty or obstruction, to open something so things can pass through or flow through. And then an additional, uh, dev, uh, some of the synonyms I had, okay, and I found these very interesting, and, and I have quite a, a quite an extended list. So just, just let me go here for a little bit. Some synonyms of unclogged, to clear, to free, to open, to unplug, to unstop to ease, to facilitate, to loosen up, to smoothen, or to grease, or grease, okay? Um, and some related words, and I found these very interesting, some related words to unclog, to accelerate, to expedite, to hasten, 
to hurry or quicken, to rush, to speed, to advance, to forward, to further, to promote. Okay, think about it, guys. If you listen to some of those words and then you think about your position right now where you are in life, okay, by unclogging those things that are blocking, okay, we can expedite, we can facilitate, we can accelerate, we can promote, we can go forward, we can quicken and hasten our accomplishment, our fulfillment. And, and don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that life is all about getting things done. That, that's not my statement, okay? My statement is that whatever it is that you are supposed to be doing, okay, there are probably some things that are blocking you. And if you can identify what those things are that are blocking you, and then you can unclog or remove those blockages, remove those hindrances, okay, then guess what? We move to the next level. We move to the next step. We move to the next phase. And so that's what we want to be talking about on the next several sessions, how to unclog, how to loosen up, how to free up, how to remove hindrances and blockages that may be creating, uh, uh, keeping you from becoming all that you're created to be. Guys, I hope this makes some sense to you. I hope that you're looking forward to it. It's, I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to be able to share some stuff with you over the next several sessions about your finances, about your career about your physical well-being, about your involvement in the community, and how. what are some of the questions that if you answer them, it will help you to identify where you are and then help you to know where it is that you can be. All right? Hey, guys, this is John. The Strive Session, Strategies to Remain Informed, Strategies to Remain Victorious, Strategies to Remain Empowered. And I, I'll close the way that I always do, okay? And I want you to remember this, okay? You are important. All right. Be blessed. And uh, say, well, next Wednesday is Christmas. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how things are going. And uh, if you don't hear from me then, you know that I'm celebrating the uh, holidays with families and friends. Okay. If you do hear from me, then I think it must be worth saying something. All right. Y'all enjoy. And happy holidays, everyone.